Hello again, I am Blunty, and this is the Ava Media Godwit 310 USB microphone, a simple, affordable plug and play USB microphone aimed at YouTubers and podcasters and streamers and whatnot. Unlike products like the Razer Siren Pro I usually use for many of my videos, a microphone which costs more than twice as much by the way, here there's no fancy stuff like multiple pickup patterns. Ava Media have pared it down to the rawest essentials. It's compact, fairly stylish, and houses a cardioid condensive pickup, that is a microphone element that picks up from what's in front of it and tries to not pick up what's behind it. And as you can hear for yourself, and indeed have unknowingly heard in a couple of videos this week, the sound is full rich and pleasant. It's driver free, so Mac or PC you can just plug it in and go. There's only two controls on it, a switch on the back to let you make the microphone appear as an audio output to your computer so you can plug your headphones directly in here for your PC sound, handy to reduce cable clutter. In the other position it bypasses the PC completely and lets you directly monitor the microphone from the onboard amps. The other control is a volume knob for those two modes, a press in on that will mute the mic. The supplied stand is nice and solid, a good heavy base to keep it stable, and a short metal pole. However, the mount itself feels discouragingly flimsy. The plastic clamp is barely strong enough to hold the mic up under its own metallic weight, and the plastic it's made of doesn't strike me as something that will last much abuse. But it is at least serviceable, and has a standard microphone mount so you can put this unit on a larger mic stand or a boom arm if you like. The flimsy plastic mount gives it a little bit of a wobble, which is kind of discouraging, but uh, in my experimentation so far, it doesn't seem to transfer too much noise through to the microphone, and there is no other shock-absorbing apparatus on it. So for some of you out there, you may find that mounting this on a boom arm off your desk will stop noise being transferred up the stand through the microphone. It depends on what you're doing and how you're doing it, really. But that really is all there is to it. Very, very simple, very, very clean, nice styling, as I said. I kind of actually like it, and because it is so much more compact than the Razer Siren that I usually use, I think this may be the USB mic that I can take with me on the road so I can get better audio quality when I'm doing stuff in hotel rooms, for example, which I usually do that stuff with sort of the, the Rode Video Micro that I use on my camera. But if I can find room in my bag for something sort of this size, I think I will because it does give a better sound quality. I have now switched over to the Razen Siren Pro, which I almost always use for voiceovers, in particular in my videos, and quite often for the stuff here at the desk, of course. I haven't done any direct side-to-side -side comparisons for myself yet. Basically, when this came in, I just plugged it in and started using it, and I didn't immediately hear any difference to how I usually sound versus this thing. But of course, now on this video, we're doing a kind of direct head-to-head -head thing. I have now switched back to the Ava Media mic for a direct comparison. Same settings, same levels, same software, same everything. So what do you guys think? Can you detect a distinct difference in the sound quality of my voice between these two microphones? And is that difference enough to sway your purchasing decision? Almost all microphones will sound different. They all have their sort of individual sound characteristics. And that's why many performers and sound engineers have their favorite microphones, even though, you know, this $600 microphone may just sound as equally as good as this $600 microphone to, you know, anybody out there. Performers, talent, sound engineers all have their own personal preferences about how these things sound. I'm basically just waffling a bit now so we get time enough to switch between these two microphones for you to make a call on how they sound. It's simple, it's relatively cheap, and aside from the mount which I was talking about, the build quality actually feels superb. The microphone itself is very strongly built, except for maybe the knob on the front. The knob on the front isn't, I mean, it's, eh. but the main point is it doesn't seem like it's going to fall apart after a life on the road in bags and such. And of course, all video long, you have been listening to the pure unaltered sound out of this thing, so you tell me what you think about it. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I'll catch you next time.